Hey Leo, it's Teresa with One Love, One Light. Welcome to your message. Let's see what Spirit has for you. Holy Spirit, what message do we have for Leo? What's the message for Leo? And we have Sea Goddess of Sensuality. Celebrate Romance, number 24. So something about really connecting with your sensuality, celebrating it, connecting with your um, with your sexuality, with your emotional chakra, your um, why can't I think of it? Your root chakra, your uh, I can't think of it. Wow. Well, let's see what the book has to say. Why is it leaving my mind? Sacral. Sacral chakra. S connecting with your sacral chakra. Clearing your sacral chakra. <clears throat> your creative energy. All right. Where's number 24? Here we go. So it's talking about awakening of all your senses. Consciously reactivating desire. Alignment of desires and reality, celebrating the romance that is life itself. The sea goddess of sensuality is here to activate the sensual, emotional, and physical expression of the ancient wisdom you hold within your DNA. Activating this card informs you it is now time to be in full awareness of your feelings, emotions, and thoughts and see what they are manifesting for you. Are you frustrated, stuck, or stifled? Where can you access more freedom? What senses can you turn on and what have you turned off in order to be experiencing what is in front of you now? Remembering that this powerful wisdom resides in you and it can help you move energy in your own being to experience a more pleasing reality for and within yourself. So you may be disconnected from it or you may not be using it fully. You may not be connecting to it fully. So there may be a need to do some sacral chakra healing or clearing um, meditations or listen to um, some music that is meant to clear that chakra or activate it. Let's see what else. And we have push to surface. You have become complacent. You might be stalling or in need of a new surge of energy. Become aware of the dynamics of your life. And I feel like this goes hand in hand. There may be um, a need to um, kind of bring some energy back to life by being creative or, um, you know, experiencing some energy that you haven't before like dancing or singing or doing yeah doing something creative um allowing yourself to intimately connect with others you know and this doesn't have to be sexual per se it could just be opening up in conversation and revealing yourself being vulnerable all right what else do we have and we have dive deep, yeah. So there's definitely like diving deep and allowing things to come to the surface, um, opening up, revealing stuff that is kind of um, fell to the bottom in a sense um, and not brought light to those things that are kind of pushed deep down. All right, what else for Leo? And we have the eight of wands, success and growth. So it's kind of like needing to really um, stir up the soil in order for things to thrive and grow. That's what I'm getting here. What else? And we have the magician here, manifest. So it's like you have everything you need, but there's powerful elements that are kind of stifled or complacent that you need to stir up that energy to really um, bring everything together in, a, in an alchemical way. What is the challenge here? 
and we have the sun. So here you are. The challenge is your light may have gone out. You may have become disconnected from your own power, your own energy, your own joy. So there's a need to connect and become emotionally emotionally connected to the things that you desire, to your own emotions, to really feeling things. Um, yeah, there's something that's going on deep down that has to be stirred up, that has to be reactivated and um, integrated into, into your conscious, into your awareness. Okay, that one flew out. Where did it go? Ugh, almost couldn't reach it. All right, the advice, the solar plexus chakra, and this is what you're all about here. This is about your confidence, your power, your identity, your everything. Like this is um, your, your life force here. So this is like you need to dig deep to find it again. That's what I'm getting here. What is the outcome? And we have, yeah, new vitality, the Ace of Wands here. This is what it's all coming down to. It's like um, you'll re regenerate your vitality, your um, everything will become more vibrant, more meaningful, more, um, more creative. You'll feel like you're actually um, more invested in your own joy, your own happiness, your own success. The bottom of the deck is the Seven of Swords, which is seek the truth. So I feel like there is something that may have happened that may have kind of shut you down. You could, this could have been betrayal, um, something that, you know, um, some kind of deep betrayal or someone lied, cheat, steal against you. This could be even some type of major lie that you've been giving yourself um, in order to get through a certain situation. But whatever it is, it needs to, you need to find the root of the truth of that matter and bring light to the situation so that you can have your life back. That's what I'm getting here. But let's clarify. All right, show me this Eight of Wands. And we have the Five of Swords. So yeah, there's definitely been some kind of defensive wounds here or, um, you know, playing with the wrong, playing the wrong game somehow. That's what I'm getting here. Um, what is this magician about? And we have the Three of Swords. So definitely yeah there's been disappointments there's been heartbreak there's been um you know where someone got hurt and this is not how it was supposed to go this is not what you were trying to manifest but somebody got hurt and it could have obviously been you you were hurt in the process this could have been even you hurting someone else and it was not what you were meaning to manifest that's what i'm getting here show me this sun as the challenge and we have the knight of pentacles so yeah i feel like um i feel like you had you tried to move on from things but healing has come very slowly you have um it's like you haven't almost it feels like you haven't even begun to heal from this situation and that can be really hard um what is the solar plexus chakra about Oh, my card went flying. And we have the Eight of Wands again. So, yeah, it's like, um, it's like you just haven't had the drive. You haven't had the um, motivation to really, you haven't had the confidence to really pursue healing, pursue. You haven't had the confidence to clear this, to... Um, to take back what is yours, to take back your life, to really um, turn this around in some way. All right, what's this Ace of Wands? And we have the Five of Cups. So I think this is about really 
recognizing that you still do have purpose, you still do have love around you. Allow these other cups to fall away and heal and forgive yourself, forgive um, those involved and focus on what you do have and um, let go of this sadness and pain from the past. Um, the bottom of the deck is the Nine of Swords. This has been haunting you for a while now. So I feel like this has, it. it's really, um, it's affecting either your current relationship or your seeking of a partner. So I feel like this is, is definitely a time to embrace love and learn to love yourself again. Um, you know, bring back that love to yourself. Find it deep within yourself. It's there. Um, and bring it back to the surface so that you can move on with your life and make the best of your life moving forward. Leave the past behind. All right. What guidance do we have for Leo? And we have protection. Keep some aquamarine close. Mermaid's tears have been known to create these pre precious gems. So know that you have the protection of the divine. You don't have to worry about this happening again. Invoke the protection of God around you and the angels. All right. Chance, allow the sea to wash its chest of wonders ashore. You never know what the tide may br bring in. Optimism, after each rainstorm, there will be clear skies. So focus on the, you know, the possibilities of what could happen in the future. And travel, seeing the surface of the ocean is not the same as diving deep to, this, to see the coral. So another message of diving deep and reflect peer into the endless ocean and see what peers back so there's definitely a message of needing to reflect on what's happened forgive heal um, and open yourself up to possibilities for the future bottom of the deck voyage set sail on a new course so you may need to get out of your same space maybe take a vacation or, you know, a long drive and kind of get out of your same um, space to see things kind of from a, in a new light or a new uh, vantage point. So those are your messages. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Please, please, please subscribe. And remember, the universe has your back and so do I. Take care.